Hi, Nick Martello here again at Martello Consulting Lab. And today we're going to look at upload download through the internet. And how do you do that? Here I have an MS9050 UD and I have a IP DAC 2 UD connected via the two incoming telephone ports. And that's going down here to this IP DAC 2 UD. So to do upload download, you can't use just an IPDAC2. You need to have the 2UD, which includes this plug-in modem. And essentially what we will do is, since the panel supports a modem communications over the phone line, we're going to simulate that, and we're going to have the modem on this board talk to the modem um, in the panel over probably the shortest phone line in history, which is about 36 inches or less. So... Uh, when we when we set up in our office this will allow us to be in our office we can contact a panel out in the field somewhere uh, without having to use the phone line we can go over the internet and the benefit to that is that you, when you're using modem communication today you get a lot of static and a lot of dropouts and you could be doing a big history upload and all of a sudden um, you lose the communication and you know you got to start all over again so this improves that uh, again, this is a 56K baud modem. Um, the panels, I know that the firelight panels will typically only support 9600. So remember, it's not going to be blazing fast. It's going to be exactly what you experience over the phone line, but it's going to be much better because all the noise is taken out of the equation, <clears throat> and so you won't get dropouts. So you'll get a much faster result, uh, even though you're not, uh, going that fast. So I've already programmed, here we go, I've already programmed this unit uh, into my central station uh, receiver. I have a test receiver here and I also have test automation simulation software. Okay, so I'm going to take a look at that software. We're going to need a couple of uh, pieces of information. We have to go to the central station and we have to say to them, say, listen, I'll, I want to do upload download, so I'd like you to modify my account. And central station operator will come in, you know, go into this account. In my case, it's account number 104. And where this field down here is normally blank, it's called subscriber telephone. We're going to put in a telephone number. Uh, that could be any number you want it to be. Just remember it because that's the number you have to put into your um, your software, your upload download software. Now you might want to use a real simulated phone number, in other words, you know, seven to ten digits or so on, because some of the software packages will only let you use uh, something like an official, you know, seven or ten digit phone number. So in this case, I've put in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero, and that seems to work quite nicely with my software. Now that would be the same type of, of number that you would put in your software as if you were calling the telephone line, if you will, and that extension of wherever that that business line is installed uh, at, at the remote building. So that's basically what we're doing there. So let's simulate the whole thing. Let's go to our programming software. This is on this other laptop. And on this laptop, or your, your work computer at the office, you're going to install something called udport.exe and I've already downloaded that from Firelight and uh, Firelight.com and I'm going to open it up. I've installed it. I'm going to open it up. Okay. Um, you'll notice when you first install it, it'll ask you for what COM port you want to capture. Now your programming software, the actual software that you use for the panel, uh, will also have a corresponding COM port. So I set mine up for COM4, and when you first install it, you, you can, it'll ask you what, what COM port do you want to capture, so I captured COM4. Now if you want to change that, it's easy to do. Uh, you just basically um, uh, right-click on it, let me just delete, just took it out, so let me start it up again. Uh, so you just right-click on it and look at the properties. Okay, so there it is right there. 
and you'll see right here at the end I have COM4. So you can edit that. You can change that to COM3, COM2, COM1, and then just apply it, and you're good to go. So that's how you can change it if you need to do so after you've installed it. So in the setup, we're going to put in the public IP address of the receiver, and you'll have to get this again from the central station. Now, mine's on a local network, so it's 192.168.1.50. I'm using TCP port 80. I put my username and password in, which the central station will also give you. And uh, the rest of that you should probably just leave as default. And code just simply means it's going to encrypt it to 512-bit uh, AES encryption. Okay, um, then you, you know, click Save. And what you might want to do next is go to the Network Monitor tab. And then you can do a test to see if you can connect to the central station receiver. So that's what this is doing. It's, it's doing a test to see if you can get through. And you can see that mine's coming back. It's saying I've established a session. Everything is good. I'm ready to go. And down at the bottom it says past line quality. Okay. So now we leave that running. Now we're going to start up our PS tools or our programming software for the panel. Now, I'm not going to teach you how to use PS Tools. You can learn that at a training session for Firelight, or you can, you know, teach yourself how to use it. Um, what I've done is I've established an account in PS Tools for this particular panel. I called it TestMip 104. Um, I told it it was I'm going to try to talk to an MS9050 50-point addressable panel. And now I'm going to go in head and <coughs> go to Upload Download and I'm going to set up my connection settings. Now, this particular software allows you, as you can see, you could, you could select serial, you could select USB, modem. We want to select modem. And here's where we set the COM port that we're going to be using. And again, I want this to match whatever I set in UD port. Okay, COM4, COM4. So, now keep in mind what's happening here. We're going to be capturing the modem port and converting it to a virtual port called TCP. So we're, when we <clears throat> when we connect to the modem, you, the modem that we're using is not the one in the PC. It's the one down at the IP DAC. That's the one we really want to call. And that's the one we're going to call. Now, the other thing you should do is set up a modem that when you select a modem, pick a generic one and then rename it and save it as IP DAC because we're going to change some connection strings. Uh, every modem has, you know, default connection strings. We want to set some special ones up because remember, most communications are over very long telephone lines. And so typically they bump up the volume and everything. We want to reduce the volume and the talk and receive volume on that modem because we're right in the panel. So we, we basically don't want to overpower the circuitry in the uh, the onboard panel modem. And so what I've done is I put this string in here, and I'm going to zoom in so you can see that string, and I won't have to read it. Okay, so uh, you can also get this from the manufacturer, and you can uh, get it from tech support if you have difficulty. All right, so that's what I've done. I've done I've done all that. You might want to try to initialize the modem part, make sure that everything's working. I know mine's working, so I'm going to go ahead and close that. And I'm going to say save it. Now I'm going to go to upload download. And you'll notice here for this particular customer is where I put in the phone number I want to dial. And I'm going to do a simple date and time. So I'm going to Upload from the panel the date and time, and I'm going to connect. And then you can watch what happens over here on the right side. So we're initializing the modem. Now we're initializing the modem on the IP DAC. That's the one that we're talking to. And now we're going to call the phone, actually call the panel. And you'll hear my relay click on the panel, which means that the panel has answered that UD modem out there already. So you see the, the Communications TCP is really quick, okay? And since we're emulating a dial-in, we have to, the phone, the, the panel has to say, okay, I've I, I passed all your information, 
I'm connected. And there we go. And that's basically it. And once you're there, I mean, there's a number of things you can do. You can download history, which could take quite a while. Now, keep in mind what I said about the baud rates. The Firelight panels, to my knowledge, only support 9600 baud, uh, and the UD port modem can support 56k baud. So it's going to depend on the speed that is. It's going to depend on how fast your panel will respond. And uh, typically they, they auto baud, so you don't have to worry about that. There's no baud rates to set anywhere. Um, and that's pretty much it. So hope that helped and enjoy using your upload download program from the comfort of your office. Thanks. Have a great day. See you next time.